Hello, this is a short introductory video for the Fuchika, the Forgotten Child in Car Alert project. Here's a Fuchika prototype system in my lab. The system is comprised of sensors connected to an Arduino board, which in turn communicates with the smartphone over Bluetooth Low Energy. The sensors are installed in or around the child seat and monitor whether the state of the seat is empty or occupied. The Arduino device is installed in the car and is powered by the car's battery. Here you can see some additional shields on the Arduino board, but they are mostly for convenience and are not required. The smartphone runs the Fochica app. Right now only an Android app is available, but an iOS app is in the works. Alerting about forgotten children is important because uh, every year kids suffer heat strokes in cars and pass away or sustain injuries as a result. Um, this is very unfortunate and can be prevented. You can search online for kids, cars, uh, heat stroke if you want to learn more about the topic. Also back to the design. The system is responding to Bluetooth connectivity state. When the Bluetooth connection between the device and the app breaks, it signifies that an adult is no longer near the car. If at that time there is also an occupied child seat in the car, then an alert will sound from the app. This is different than other existing solutions where a reminder goes off before you leave the car, which can be quite a nuisance. This is why Fochica is an alert, not a reminder. This is an important quality. Right now the device is not powered, and you can see that the app is trying to connect to it. The system supports one or more seats, each having one or more sensors. You can have lots of seats and sensors, just make sure that you have enough pins available on your board to accommodate them all. This device in front of you um, is configured with one seat and two sensors. Having more than one sensor per seat provides robustness and redundancy. Here you can see the sensor are just lying on the table, but in a real situation they need to be placed correctly on the seat. The first sensor is a capacitive sensor, and it senses when a capacitive object is near, such as a human body. It should be placed under the padding of the seat, and it is just a folded sheet of aluminum foil. The second sensor is an on-off button, which in this case emulates a magnetic read sensor, like this one, that should be attached to the belt buckle or chest buckle on the seat. You can see photos of the actual deployment in the car on the projects page. And now I didn't want to run around in and out of Bluetooth range with the camera, so I'm going to turn the device on and off to simulate going in and out of range. The device and the phone are already paired, so right now the device is powered off and not transmitting as if we are out of range. I'm turning on the device. Most feedback from the device is in audible form through a buzzer. You could, you could hear it playing the start and connect tones. Um, now we are connected and the app shows the state of the seat and the individual sensors. Obviously the app doesn't have to be in the foreground for this to work. The same monitoring, connecting and alerting will also happen if the app is running in the background of the smartphone. If I activate the sensor in various ways, then the state will be reflected in the app. So the capacity sensor is a bit slower to react. If 
if I get out of range while one of the sensor is in occupied state, an alarm will sound in the app. Once again, I'm turning off the device instead of distancing myself so I can feel everything in the same location. The time it takes for the alarm to sound is configurable in the app. Here we go. The adult was warned and should take appropriate action. Um, the system has additional features that are worth mentioning. It supports use cases with more than one car. For example, a scenario where a family has two cars and two adults, where each adult can use any car and even when two adults travel together in the same car, but both can drive interchangeably at other times. And in all those cases, the system is designed to prevent false positives and not be annoying. And you can add additional or external circuits to perform various actions, such as alert via SMS, open car windows, etc. The, co the code is quite modular in that regard. If no smartphone is connected, the device will fall back to a more primitive mode where a reminder will go off when the engine is turned off and a child seat is occupied. Um, the system doesn't take much power due to the use of Bluetooth low energy. In the device, an optional circuit can be added to prevent a dead car battery situation. What it does is disconnect the device from the battery uh, if the battery reaches a predefined low level. And there are additional features. You're welcome to visit the projects page, uh, our site, and FAQ page for more information. Follow the project as I will be adding the code, uh, schematics, PCB layout, uh, explaining the various sensors in detail and so. Um, the end goal of the project is to create a consumer device that everybody can use, where the device is low cost and all the details are an open specification. If you have any questions or if you want to build your own for Chica, please leave a comment here or on the projects page.